Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of my Darkness Falls for Alpha 20 series is, is, is the morning of day two and I did a ton of stuff last night. As you can see, we got a bit of problem with food and water, but that's okay. Um, I did make one yucca juice last night. We didn't have enough to make any more than that. So we're going to go ahead and drink that first thing this morning. And then we're going to go ahead and drink the two bottled water here that we have. We got two um, murky water for completing our uh, first level farmer quest. Or second level farmer quest. First or second? Second. Collecting all the stuff we needed. Which was the rotten flesh, the clay, the nitrate powder, and the wood to make the two, or sort of the farm, four farm plot blocks, which we now have. Uh, we, so we, and we got also two beef cut. We're just going to use those this morning as well. Get our food up a little bit here. But right outside, if you can, I don't know if you can hear the foot, footsteps. There's a radiated zombie inside the compound. So I'm waiting for morning to come. It's almost here. As you can kind of see through the cracks there. It's almost here. Um, so the farm plot blocks are done. I've got all the materials we need on us here for the next set of quests. So we're going to knock all those off first before we leave here today. Um, get all those done. I got some stuff I want to sell to the trader here in a second. But you can see the little glowiness out here. The part new particle effects for the uh, the radiated zombies for Darkness Falls. I don't know how tough this guy is. So I don't want to open the door and kill him. I mean, I could probably kill him. But I want to wait till morning. Feral Sense is going to pop on in the morning anyway and everybody that I've been hearing around the building is going to start banging on shit. It's nice to know that they can climb over the walls though because now that I know that I'm going to have to be a little bit more careful when I'm in here. Because I think he climbed over. Hearing somebody jumping around out there too. So the goal for today will be to finish off the these quests, get those done right away. And I don't know what the hell I was thinking last night. Um, but we used our iron to make arrow tips when I could have used it to make a cooking pot and a grill. I just like realized that right now. I'm like, oh man, I wish I had a forge that I could make a cooking pot and grill. I'm like, wait a minute, I do have a forge to make a cooking pot and grill. The only problem now is I don't have the iron. So I'm going to have to get some iron first thing this morning. So that's the other thing we need to do because um, I want to get a cooking pot and grill going in the actual forge. Are we having a fight now? And you are... Guy's about to save your life. I don't know if they know we're here. Like I said, I don't want to open the door and fight this thing because I have no idea if it's like the 150 hit point rad, which is not bad because I can probably take it down with a spear to the face and then close the door, get my stamina back. And hit it in the face again and knock it over but if it's not if it's like 280 or something like that which it might be if it's one of those um, failed preppers or like gang members or whatever and it looks like it might be through the door it's almost morning though don't know what he's doing here there we go it's a skater so we're all right Yeah, it could have been. It, that could have been bad, but we're good. I don't know if there's any more zombies in the compound, but they're all banging away now. All right, we're just gonna throw these down here. Now I know you need water to grow the crops, but we got to get our quest done, and I would rather do it under the safety of Hugh's place. So let's drop these in. And there's a a night uh, stalker right there. Yeah, they're getting over the walls. Let's hope that Night Stalker doesn't figure out how to get over the wall. Come on. I heard you behind me. Got a bit of a shuffle to you, don't you? Huh? Well, I got an iron spear. Stamina. I gotta kill this guy. So the Night Stalkers are kind of cool now because they've got uh, a bit of a transparent. Look at they're jumping right over. They got a bit of a transparency to them. 
so they're harder to see. If he gets in though, I'm, I'm like running out the door. We're pulling out the shotgun here in a second and smoking his ass. Oi! Missed. Fuck off. Take it right in the face. That's it. Block it with your face. This is going to take probably about four or five shots to take this guy down. Which is the reason why I don't want him getting inside. We only had 13 rounds too, which is kind of a piss off, but... And he got inside. Fuck you. Man, I got so lucky there. God, he's taking what, six shots now? I don't know if he's regenerating. I may just want to get the hell out of here. Oh shit. Oh, he's almost dead. I'm faster than he is though. He's not regenerating, which is good. I hear you following me. Gotta save my ammo. Come on, drop something. Nothing. Cheap bastard. Alright, we got a radiated and a regular zombie here. Yeah, see the steel, sp the, the uh, iron spear at the beginning makes all the difference in the world. And because it's so easy, like I can make an iron spear, but I can't make a scrap iron spear. Which is so bizarre. So let's wear that. I'm gonna go ahead and repair you. Oh, wait, nope. Stop. I don't have the gun skill yet to repair that. It'll drop the quality down. Five more rounds after this one, eh? Okay. All right, let's get inside and fill that hole in. Don't have any cobble. Man, he just broke through there. Okay, grab these, and then we can go ahead and make... Um, I need sticks. We got sticks inside. Okay. I know there's somebody around back. Looking for something special? I am. But I don't know if you got it. Alright, we're gonna sell you and you and you and you. Bring those guys down here. Bring the food down that we have. Got to get murky water well, today. It's about time you bought All right, something. Uh, recipes. We gotta make two of these. We need to make uh, two apple seeds. Get those crafting. Let's go upstairs and get our sticks, which I know we've got a bunch. Don't know if we have enough though. 22. So let's make another um, sticks here. Nine gets us 18. Then we can make um, iron arrows. Three. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, I was using the cloth. That's why. There we go. Using the feathers instead. All right, so we can drop you and you in there. Okay, so now we have to make uh, animal feed, which is four, which is this guy. That was crafting. Now we got to get some. Get down here. We got to get. Yeah, first let's just knock this tree out of the way. Because not being able to see in the trader compound is a bad idea. we got to get some plant fiber. We'll knock this down. Excellent. Grab some plant fiber. We need this for the... Coop et al. Oh, we're going to need two eggs as well. So let's get those. Because I know we've got a couple of eggs upstairs that we picked up on day one, coming to the trader compound. Gonna need those two. 
Actually, do I want to just scrap that? Mm, uh, let's just sell it back to the trader. Okay. Sell you. So we got what? A thousand? Cool. Now, um... If there's nothing else. You best be on your five way. Five seconds. Beautiful. Okay. Excellent. Okay. Now we got four animal feed coming through. And let's make the coop. Craft that. And then the snare. What are we missing? Extra plant fibers, which are easy enough. Snare. Craft. Beautiful. Drop that. We don't need it. Uh, let's go put the nails back. And the animal feed can go back. Alright. Uh, you... Actually, you can stay with me. You can stay with me. You can go there. Let's turn this up to eight. All right. Uh, let's get some shit done. We got work to do today. Come on. All right. We got to put down the coop and just right there. Let's actually just put it over here, kind of out of the way. And then we can put the snare down here. Excellent. We've got the mortar and pestle already. I made that already last night. And I'm going to go ahead and pick up um, the golden rod, because that's not as important as the chrysanthemum. Then we're going to plant these two trees down here. I'll put one right there. One right there. We've got a couple of apple trees growing in the yard. I'm waiting for them to break through at the back. All right, now we'll put this guy down. I didn't want to put it down downstairs because I can't pick it up perfect so that should be it now so this should get give us um, we have a skill point we don't so this gives us a, a shotgun and some ammo uh, actually we've already got a level, level 11 so might as well open it oh it gives us a level 11 okay I didn't think it did I thought it gave you uh, one based on your, your, your crafting level. So we can leave that guy there. And now our farming crafting is done. Get this loaded up. We need water badly, so let's see what he's got for sale down here. Anything? Got one yucca. I'm going to buy it. And hopefully we can find something while we're out today. Food we're okay on. Let's use that. Get the hell out of here. Got to make sure we grab some murky water before we come. Actually, yeah, if we grab yucca, we don't need murky water. Okay, let's go murder these guys around back. We'll head into town. Hopefully we can find some more potatoes today too. Because I much prefer making steak and potatoes. Hey, it's up you two. That sucks, eh? She had arthritis too. It's got to be painful. The bags are dropping like crazy. Anything good? Ah, uh, 10 rounds. Not bad. Alright, so since this is just a fetch quest, we'll see where it is in the house. Oh, I know this one. Oh, this could be bad. Ooh, this could be bad. Okay. Grab this real fast. And then I think we grab this before we go in, because that should drop some iron from the uh, flashlight. Once we break this down, it'll drop. Nice. We can activate this again. Do it again. I normally don't... I mean, I do this sometimes, not all the time. Early game, it's it's kind of something I do just just to maximize my time gathering resources but for the most part I generally don't double loot stuff unless it's like a small POI that I just know really well then it's not so bad but if I've never encountered the POI I don't like to double loot it I think we're good to go in although I don't know if I want to have this out Oh, 
Okay, the dogs aren't running towards me. Which is a good thing. Oh, shoot! I can't use iron arrows with the old bow. Ah, crap. Um... And we got a zombie coming up behind us, too. Oh, man. I'm shocked he doesn't, uh... hear us. Where the fuck are you going? Dude! Um... I, I, okay. At least he was a one shot. All right, that's not bad. And now we got like three or four zombies on us. You bleed out. And the dogs hurt us. So hopefully they're all dead. It would be bad if one of the, oh shit, I missed. If one of them came out that window. I don't hear any growling. Okay, that's a zombie. I heard the banging. I thought it was a, uh, a dog. Okay, nothing there. So yeah, they both got cacked. Nice. Okay, good. Uh, we'll grab that. Break this up. Get some plastic out of it if we can. Yep. All right, I'm going to dig up just the cobblestone. So there is a possibility we could have a horde today, but we won't find out until tonight. I'm going to hack these dogs up. One more, and then we'll grab that, and then we'll probably... I'm not going to go through this house. We're going to go downstairs and try and just loot it real quick. One feather. Yeah, we're just going to loot the house real quick. Grab that. Now, I think we should just be able to scrap these. Because you can't just put them right in the forge in Darkness Falls. You can't put any... Like, you have to have exactly what you need on you to make an item. You can't just stock the forge up with stuff, which I think I, I kind of really like that. Okay. So it's on this floor. Hey, buddy. I'm going to loot the car while you uh, sort yourself out there. Ooh, pistol. Come on. Finally! Nice if we can find a wrench in this place. I wonder if the door's open here. Uh, let's scrap these. So we're not carrying too, too much. It is unlocked. Beautiful. So Darkness Falls doors aren't like normal doors. It's random whether or not they'll be uh, locked or unlocked. I know that's the way out. That's locked. Yeah, see... No Normally that's not locked. I think there's somebody in here. Yep. Okay, you're not a tough one. You're not a tough zombie. That's super nice. So those blue note pages are uh, for making mods. Which is nice to get that early. Grab those. Whatever's in here. I'm not gonna I'm just not gonna break up the trash. We're just gonna loot the kitchen. And then we'll grab our stuff that we need out of the uh, end room there. Which I think is where the final loot is as well. We'll grab that and we'll get the hell out of here and go back to the trader. Get another mission. Oh, we need water too, so I gotta take a look out for where we can get some water. Oh, we don't need it. We got this now. 
excellent and a little bit of oops a little bit of food stuff in there that's about it okay anything good in here something we can scrap I'm gonna steal the plastic off of here too nothing there let's break in here now this door should just change to a regular door Another thing in Darkness Falls that I really, really love. Yes. Should only be one more now. How's it going, buddy? How's it going? Gotta grab some cloth because I used up pretty much all our cloth last night making armor. So I made a uh, set of armor except for the boots. Uh, we're gonna actually... Mm, you know what, let's just scrap this. We got money now, so I don't have to worry about that. Uh, scrap that too. Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so I made a, almost a full set of armor with the exception of um, the boots, which we're leaving as the, uh, the, the running shoes where we get the bonus regen while we're running. I'd rather have that on early. That's nice. Let's just take you... If we repair you, it's probably going to be worth less. There's what we want. Come on. Okay, we got five lockpicks. Let's see if we can pick this safe real quick. Alright, we broke two. I'm going to save the other three for Hugh's place. I don't want to waste all of our um, lockpicks here. I find those smaller safes, and maybe it's just me, but I find those smaller safes um, to be uh, harder to pick than the bigger ones. I, I don't. It's probably just me, but that's what I. That's how what I find anyway. Okay. All right. Now let's do this. Split these up, and we'll make. We'll grab some water. So, let's have a look at the map here real quick. There's got to be a culvert. Yeah, there is. Just south of us. Oh, yeah, there's that water that's right next to our place, too. Yeah, we'll grab that. I'm, I'm assuming it's quieter here today because uh, we killed most of the zombies in this area yesterday. That's my assumption. I don't know whether that's accurate or not, but that's certainly what it feels like. Oh yeah, the other thing too is we can grab some water off the fire hydrant. That's pretty awesome, I gotta say. Uh, I don't know if it was Kane that added, like, if he was the one that figured the coding out on that, or who it was, but whoever it was, brilliant idea. However, I would have made it so that you can only do it if you actually have a wrench on you. Because if you think about it, oops, if you think about it, like you're not going to be right, getting that open with your hand. Right? You're going to need a wrench to do it. So, ooh, more lockpicks. So yeah, if you haven't noticed, car alarms are a thing. Uh, it creates a hell of a lot of noise, so the zombies will just show up from all over. But, once again, we've already cleared the area, so it's pretty quiet. And before I forget, I'm going to come over here. Do that. And then we'll see how much... Put some fuel in here. So it's only one clay and 25. And it's probably the same for that. It is. Perfect. So we got one of each now. That'll take a few minutes. So let's go ahead and modify you, take you out, because we can sell the die. And I think this die is not worth anything. Can we scrap it? We can. We'll scrap it for the paint. As the Jewoodle dies. I'm not a big fan of purple, so we'll just scrap it for the paint. Could you be? You must think I could be louder. Now. I'm taking the well, Molotovs because we will so definitely need those. Uh, can I see your inventory? I'll hold on to the pistol. I'm going to hold on to the hazmat gloves. Let's sell you. Sell you. And you. And you. How much is that worth? 17? Yeah. 
I mean, recog, we get a bonus bonus range damage. But I'm not really a big fan of, like, using the potions to increase your damage. You know what I mean? It's not really a thing of mine. Are we done But here? we'll hold on to it. I don't know. We're, we, I mean, we might need it for later hordes, so we'll just hang on to it. All right, let's just drop some stuff in here. Sure, we'll put the paint in here for now. All right, let's grab another job real quick from him. Um... We're doing okay for water. Uh, got one fetch to the west. Do something for great. I can. If you're lucky, you Whoops. Let's off. go up the stairs okay. instead of like around them. We'll drop off our murky water. So we can leave this here. That and that with us. And we need to get feathers. So let's make some more arrows. Okay. Beautiful. It's cleared up outside. Drink one of these guys. Straight down that way, huh? Well, hopefully we find some more potatoes in the way here. Let's eat four of these guys. Get us up a little over 80. Oh, there's some yucca. Ah, I love the stamina regen of these shoes. It's going to come in handy definitely early on when we don't have any motor transport. Grab that. I've got one more back at home, so at least we can make one more... Uh, um, one more yucca juice for tomorrow. So we won't find out on, if we got a horde, like I said earlier, until uh, the evening, which is going to make it really interesting uh, later game, because I'm pretty sure that the uh, vehicles don't run after a certain time on horde day. Yeah, no, honey. Um, so if we're out of town and we get the notification that the horde is coming we may not be able to use our vehicle to get back, which could be an issue. Um, could be a really big issue, which means we might have to hold down a horde like wherever we are, which kind of, in a way, is kind of kind of exciting. Um, I'm finding in Alpha 20, there's a lot more buildings to be able to just do that. Like you can just kind of pull your way up onto something and just sit up on top and, you know, as long as you don't get too swarmed by birds, then um, you should be fine for the Horde Knight. Now, later game's not going to be so much so because there's um, new demons and stuff that have been in included in the game that will just rip your walls apart. So hiding up in a building will do you absolutely no good. Uh, all right, recipes, stone arrows, two. Because it's the wrong one. There we go. Get that crafting. Hey, lady, what's up? Hold that, will you? Yeah, it's nice that I made that spear early. Okay, actually, you know what? Let's not loot anything. Let's just go to where we're going. Get this done. Alright, it's this house. So this is not bad at all. Lots of cobble in the attic. Lots of lag down below. Ah, that figures. <laughs> Story of my freaking life. All right, let's grab this, and then we'll grab the. I think I don't think this actual light drops yet. Stays. It's actually supported by the ladder, structure-wise. So there should be at least two zombies in the attic. There might be one up here, and this is the house where we need to drop into the basement at the end. I should, uh... Fuck, they're all starting to work in it way in now. Sixty-six nails and a bunch of iron. You know what? Let's, um... Not go the traditional way. Come on, you guys. I got shit to do. Get them bleeding while we're in here. What if I should just knock out the bottom ladder and go do the upper floor? They can't get in th this way. They got to come around the back. Wow, that was a huge miss there. He's done. You're done. You're bleeding. I'll uh, pick this up while I wait. 
Now I could attack him when he's down. You do more damage when they're prone. But like the reason why I generally don't is I like to have my stamina at a half decent level. Because if a wandering horde was to come by right about now, I want to make sure I have stamina to fight them. So I don't mind poking them at this point. But if my stamina is low, it's like I don't want to be doing it. Um, don't have a lot of time. Let's see if this door is open. It is. Oh, I wake up in here. Okay, we'll do a quick loot. Definitely, I mean, playing on Feral Sense has definitely made me play differently. Because you don't really have to worry too much about making a lot of noise. Like, once you've made noise, it's over, right? They're on to you right away. Um, anything here? Finding a bunch of water. A bunch of cans for the iron. There's another grill. Because of course there is. Scrap that, that, and that. I think we'll scrap those two. Someone is out there having a lot of fun. A little too much fun. You got caught in the closet, eh? Okay, now, I know the final loot for this place is in the basement. Ooh, we'll take that, I guess. Save me having to use a feather to make that. There, we're done. Uh, I'm gonna go and do it the, uh... Wait, is this the place I'm thinking of? I think it is. Grab those. Anything good here? Nothing. Some trash. Doorknob. Because I think, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, this is the place I think we can just dig in. Here. Into the basement. Hey, right, buddy. We need the clay anyway. Like, it's one of the things we need right now, so... And I know the loot in this place is actually pretty good. So let's dig our way in. Get our clay. Yeah, there's there's the hole. Man, I should have uh, stayed with the stone tools just a little bit longer. i got to figure out how many skill points we have now. I think we've only got... We got one point. I wanted to put it on gun crafting, but I think what I'm going to do... We're going to go down to... Uh, where are you here? Yeah, minor 69er. Reduce our stamina. That'll definitely help out over time. Do more block damage. Beautiful. Okay, now... If they're not coming... Should be able to just... Always kill the ads first, then kill the boss. That should give us the basement to loot. Okay, we're gonna grab all the open stuff first. Okay. All right. Could have been better, but... Power attack these guys. Except for that. Ah. Well, we need the pages anyway. Ooh, 53 crowbar. Are you shitting me? So the crowbar is just freaking amazing. It's pretty much a one-shot for doors and, like, everything else. Four pipe bombs. That's nice. So we didn't get a lot down here, but I shouldn't feel bad because we did kind of cheat getting in here. Corn seed. Nothing there. So let's go ahead and break up 
Um, let's grab the cobble first. So, yeah, I think what we're going to do is we'll go back and we'll turn the quest in. Okay, that's nice. Now, I don't think there's much back here. That's a leather couch. Oh, you know what? There's a washer and dryer back here. Hopefully the zombies upstairs don't hear us. Okay, a couple things to sell. Oh, that's a big boy. I think we can just kind of like... Yeah, there we go. Nice. Alright, you guys do you. We're, I'm out of here. Rotato. And this guy's got some potatoes in his backyard. Which we'll just go ahead and uh, take real quick. We should be able to make steak and potatoes tonight, which is nice. Because we do have a bit of uh, a few carrots at home. I think we've got like seven or eight of them, so we should be able to make three or four steak and potatoes. Which is good for food for tomorrow. Uh, we've got enough for today. Now, I think what we do is we clear out wherever we're planning on using as a horde base. we got to do it now because, like I said, I have no idea if it's tonight we're getting the horde or if it's going to be... Um, tomorrow night or the night after. It's one of the three. So as long as we have a place cleared out, then we can just go there and be ready to go. We don't have a lot of time left today, so we might as well just do that. Well, uh, yeah, I mean, we got about five hours, so it's not too bad. Should be enough time to clear out a place. Everything is for sale. Incredible. Is it, Hugh? Is everything for sale? I think he'd pull it off. Ooh. Here's your body. Actually, before we do that, before we do that, Hugh, I just want to talk to your uh, friend over How here. How may I serve you? So you've got honey I could just buy. Goodbye. So I don't need the honey. However, the plaster cast... I, uh, I know it's like... In my book. So that'll give us three skill pages, because I don't need to make myself like hunting knives or machetes or anything. Because we're going to find them as we go, and the bone knife is fine for now. We're not using it as a melee weapon. Hunting rifle is okay. I mean, we could use that for horde night, I guess. We do Because we do have 762 ammo, so let's just take that. Alright, now. Um, modify you. Take you out of there. And we can go ahead and scrap these guys. Actually, let's make another... Because we're going to need another uh, chest here. Hopefully we're not going to be staying here too much longer. So I don't need to make the big storage chest. Now do you have any good jobs? It's all clears. 56 south. Gig. Good deal. Shit. Let's go do that. That's like right next door. We can just quickly whip in and do it. Um, okay. That can go in there. That can go in there. And I'm just going to drop the rest of this in there for now. I'll sell this stuff to Hugh later. Uh, let's just get out of here and go do this do this gig. Um, Alright, this is a clear, so let's just eat this real quick. And we'll drink this. Alrighty, let's uh, burn through this one. Uh, let's check in the garage. It should be empty, but let's open it anyway. I'm pretty sure this is this is the one that's got a workbench in it, I think. Right? Yeah. Ah, it's actually functioning too. Popping pills. Oh, okay, we're not gonna bypass this though. There we go. Come on, something good. Really? Well at least we got more ammo for the hunting rifle. Maybe this thing will give us a uh, plaster cast. I'm always worried about breaking my leg and not having a cast on me. Well, that's good. We'll probably need that for inside. Grab this real quick. I'm wasting my time. I know I'm wasting my time. All right. Time to wake up, fuckers. I'm here. Oh, fuck's sake. Door couldn't be open, could it? Couldn't be open. Oi. Wake the fuck up. I got places to go and zombies to kill. Two down. 
That's broken. Ooh, some peanut butter. Take that. A little bit of coin. And another locked freaking door. I think this has actually got a box in it or something. Nope, it's the bathroom. Nothing. Oh, wait a minute. That's nice. And that's freaking awesome. Couldn't have got any better than that, I don't think. Unless it was like Mega Crush or something, but we don't really need those. Grab this. I know we just picked up another wrench. Some yucca. So we're, we're set for drink for the next couple of days. I don't need to make any. Go ahead and scrap you. How much are you worth? 44? Let's hang on to you. Okay, you're unlocked. Come on. Nice. Goodbye. Bit of trash. Duct tape. Beautiful. Pipe. Let's just scrap that. And take the orange die, because... I don't know. Maybe I'll go orange again this this series. The last seven... Our last... Uh, Darkness Falls series. I was all in orange. Maybe I'll do that again. I don't know. Orange is the new black, baby. Make ourselves the criminal. Anything in here? Nothing. Okay, let's just... Uh, should just be using this. Actually, not on doors that are open, though. But we can just use it on things like this. Wow, 10,000, eh? Good thing you put that as a 10,000 hit point so we can just go through the wall here. Ooh, okay. Shotgun receiver. Shotgun stock. Shotgun long barrel. We just need shotgun parts. We can make a double barrel shotgun. But I really want to hold out till we get a, a, a proper shotgun. Is there anything up there? Nothing up there. And nothing back here. Okay. Daddy's home. Just gonna walk over you if you don't mind. I want my back to the rest of the building. Come on. Loot that trash. Better not be a wandering horde spawning in. It's the other thing too with feral sense, wandering hordes become super dangerous because you can't hide from them. They just know you're there. They'll just come right in the building to get you. So it's like we gotta just if that happens, we gotta bail out of here. Um and fight them outside. Let's just scrap those. bathroom with a little bit of poo I think we'll leave that behind I should do one let's just scrap you I should do one um, series where we uh, just keep all of the poo hey I want the plant buddy that's all I wanted you gonna challenge me for one plant you just challenged me for one plant guys I had to do it I didn't have any other choice um, I thought there was another... Is it just the one plant? Or is this what I was looking for, I think? Um, did we already... I thought we already found that, did we not? Or am I thinking the... Sh we found the... Sh whoops, here we go. Perks. At the bottom, we found the double barrel shotgun. Hunting rifle we did not find. So let's just go ahead and use that now. My, my inclination is to sell it, but... Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and do, um this to get this out of our inventory give us a little bit more space see this we can just kind of it takes the whole door apart but I'm okay with that nobody in there beautiful some more books oh beautiful so now just so you know that the um, workbenches and cement mixers and things like that aren't governed by um, go ahead and scrap that like if you're the laborer class, you, you get them in your class skill tree, but otherwise you have to actually buy the actual skill. So it's good to find those recipes if you're not that class. Come on, be the last one. Now we gotta drop down. Anything else in here that we want? Some trash, which we can get here. 
We really need a wrench. So one thing we haven't found yet is a wrench. Okay, we can scrap you. Take the rest. I don't like the idea of dropping in down here, though. Let's see if we can, uh... There's a guy right there. You know what? That's this in the way. How can I not... Oh, because I'm in the wall. Yeah, never mind. Yeah, you can crawl through one block spaces, but it also interferes with your ability to do stuff too, so... Yeah, now I can see him. Kneecap. Alright, see if we can smoke at least one guy here. Nope. Okay, Tex is down. Now we might as well shoot him again for good measure. Okay, that guy's almost done. We can get one shot in this girl's head. 131. I think we're good. Come on, I can barely even see you. Wow. Okay. It got really dark really fast. Okay, we don't need that. And this is for farming, which we can make seeds and, and various animal coops, which you already know how to do because this is uh, uh, in our farmer tree. So we just go ahead and scrap that. 30 gunpowder. Sorry it's so dark, but uh, I think there's crickets are outside now, so we got to hurry up here. All right, anything up there? No, it's just this two, this pile and whatever's in this box. We'll probably pull that ammo apart. I don't want the high... Well, I mean, maybe we'll just use the high-powered ammo on the uh, Horde Knight. Get it out of our inventory first. And a little bit of food. All right, now I think... Is this door open? It's locked, because of course it is. I think we could just break through the... Yeah. Just do that. And then let's see if the front door is open. It is. There you go. Now we didn't loot everything downstairs. Nor did we loot everything from the garage, I think. Oh shit. How much time do we have? I don't really know. I'm not going to risk it. I don't want to be out here if the, when the night goes down and have radiant zombies. So we can always loot that another time. We did not get a horde tonight, which is good. So it's either going to be tomorrow or the night after. One of the two. Now we can grab our... Before I forget here. Cooking pot and grill. Let's get upstairs. So it's nice and quiet. And actually make some half-decent food. A nickel ain't worth a dime anymore. Yeah, you're right. You and there's the helmet light mob we so bl so desperately so needed today. Go. But at least we got it now. We're going to take that. Um, can I see your inventory? We have some stuff to sell you. I'm going to keep that, I think. I'm going to sell you. Worth 44. These are just normal sneakers. We can just sell those for 40. What else do we have that we want to just sell? Nothing really just yet. I want to hold on to all the weapon parts because we can assemble weapons at some point. We got some money here, which we'll take up with us because we've got some more upstairs. Now, I don't think you really had... The one thing I do want to get is um, the tailoring workstation off you. But we're not going to get... You restock on day six? We might get it before then. Because the tailoring worksta workstation gives us the ability to make a medium-sized backpack which will open up slots, I think, to, like, here. It'll give us, like, a whole bunch more slots. So we won't be encumbered as much. Uh, but what I do want to do, I think, with the money we do have... Before I forget, I think I'm going to buy the extra three Molotovs for 430. So we have ten Molotovs for Horde Knight. That should be more than enough, I think, for the Horde Knight. I guess you're not so bad after all. Eh, I don't know. Don't believe what other people tell you. I'm really a bad guy. I'm a really bad dude. Okay, I'm going to get these doors upgraded in case somebody sneaks in and I don't hear them. All right. First of all, um, character. Modify. 
helmet light mod. Beautiful. Now, um, we got one point available to us. We were holding off. That was going to be going on gun crafting, so we'll put that there, just so I don't forget. Yeah, so the skills. So workbenches have got their own skill um, tree here. So if you're not a... Um, like, we need tool crafting 1 for this and tool crafting 2 for that. We can't get tool crafting 2 until level 10, so we can't make it like the tailoring or metal work benches until le level 10. But if we can buy it early, which means we can get a backpack early and get moving a lot easier early, that's a huge advantage for us. Um, and then I want to put some points into um, uh, shotguns here, because we're going to go shotguns on this guy. Um, Kane's actually added the new get off my land ability to the farmer class. No, originally there was just these two. And Master Farmer would give you the SMG. And then I noticed it doesn't give you that anymore. This gives you the auto shotgun. So if we can get an auto shotgun using get off my land, this is actually really great. This does less damage to wood blocks and it reduces the armor effect on zombies, like increasing armor effect. So the shotgun shells will do actually half decent against regular zombies or armored up zombies. This we can receive 5% less damage while holding a shotgun. This we get 10% faster run speed when holding a shotgun, which is going to be awesome for us because I love to run fast, you know me. Skeet shooting increases the range by 50%, effective range, and maximum range by 100% for the shotgun, which means we can shoot down on zombies and not have to worry about range anymore. And then increased dismemberment chance by 25%, which is like amazing because we'll be very, sh like taking his heads off zombies really easily. Then once we spec into shotgun weapons, like boomstick here, all the way down to the bottom, Increasing our fire rate by 35%. We're loading them 30% faster. It'll be 45% when we get the uh, bandolier mod. Increasing damage by 50%. Um, and increasing headshot damage by 30%. But also decapita decapitation chance by 15. But that would end up being 40% roughly with the um, with the other perk. If I'm if I read this correctly, I know it said. Um, dismemberment chance but I think that includes decapitation so well I mean once I mean once we get there once we get the auto shotgun or even just the regular pump shotgun and we get this cranked up we'll see how how well we're doing against zombies heads and even armored zombies like bikers and stuff and the military zombies because we'll have that skill it's going to reduce the uh, the armor level of the zombies um, hopefully it'll be a little better for us and we should be able to rock this like I mean we were rocking a shotgun in the last um in the last series, like right up to the end, I was using it at the door, like there, just to take heads off zombies like all the time. And now with the uh, the bonus from the farmer tree for shotguns, it's gonna make it even more potent. So definitely gonna be going shotguns as far as we can go. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna end this episode here, guys. I'm gonna get a few things made tonight, get some food made and that. And then when we come back tomorrow, um, we'll take some quests from the traders again. Uh, but I think as we're going out for the first quest, we'll most likely go and look for a horde base. I mean, we could use the house that we were just in. That shouldn't be too much of a problem. Just take out that ladder so we have the attic all to ourselves, knock a few holes in the floor, and just drop shit down on them. I mean, that would work probably. Um, but I, I want to try and find uh, a building with mostly um, concrete walls, which I think one of those power, little small little power stations should do. But I'm going to end the episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And you can drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.